crushing sorrow. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as I am known. 1 Corinthians 13, 12 Have you ever been in the midst of a difficult trial and found it hard to understand what good could come out of it? I am reminded of the high school killings that took place in our country over the last several years. Many Christian youth were martyred for their faith. There were stormy times with little sunshine. However, looking back as a result of these martyrs, hundreds of people have given their lives to Christ and thousands of Christians have become bold in their faith. F. B. Meyer offers a counseling word in times like these. There is a divine and deeper meaning in the adversaries of our lives. We have no excuse for despair in the face of crushing sorrow, whether it comes from man or the devil. All creatures are under the divine control, holding to our lips cups which the Father's hand has mixed. He has no partnership with their evil, but they unconsciously perform his will. Even if you cannot see the divine meaning, dare to believe that it is there. One day, God will call us to his side, and in the clear light of eternity, will explain his meaning in life's most sorrowful experiences. Then we shall learn that we suffered not for ourselves only, but for others. Now we shall see through a glass darkly, but one day we shall see clearly. God takes dark, devastating circumstances and uses them for the good. Our crushing sorrow brings forth pure gold. This devotional was taken from Steve Hill's book, Daily Awakenings, and I hope you all have a blessed day. With the photo credits by my wonderful cousin, Chrissy Bill.